невероятно, но в Иерусалиме живет единственный лицензированный Санта-Клаус в Израиле. Санта-Клаус с лицензией. Живет он в этом доме. Это араб-христианин, который принимает в декабре каждый день толпы людей, которые выстраиваются здесь в очереди. Мне показалось, что интересно с ним поговорить не только как с Санта-Клаусом, но и как с человеком. Проверим, дома ли он. Hello, с Новым годом! Welcome! С Новым годом! Please, welcome! Cherish every good thing at Christmas Kiss me under the mistletoe Light the fireplace and roast some chestnuts Cause it's Christmas time yeah. Hi, Isa! Hello, hello! <laughs> I'm not sure that uh, the people know us that in Jerusalem we have really Santa Claus and uh, I am very surprised by myself when I knew about it and now we are in your home with decorations of uh, Christmas and Novi God and all together and we, we have really a uh, unique opportunity to talk to you in private, private uh, talking, I know So, the first question, how did you become a Santa Claus? It's really an interesting point to start from. First, uh, welcome to Santa House. That's the more important thing to tell you. Welcome. I welcome everybody to come here. And you are welcome here. Also, you be with your daughter here. And it was really a surprise to see you with your daughter coming to be and as a really Santa Claus house. And uh, first, my name is Isaac. Because to see you, we are the first Christian family in the old city of Jerusalem. And uh, the house that is, which you see, the Santa house is a 700 years old house. I started to be Santa Claus before 15 years ago. I was looking the cupboard of my father and I found the Santa, which he used to wear it for me and my two sisters. And then suddenly I say, why I don't put it on and go to Java Gate just to make fun for people. I didn't take it seriously, like just for fun, one time a year. And then everybody was excited, happy, and I say, oh, very nice. The second year, the same issues, and then they asked me, people, are you coming to be Santa in Jaffa Day to give Christmas tree? I say, yeah, why not, I'm coming. And after five years, I think about an idea to enter Jerusalem with a camel. And from this moment, when I enter with a camel from Jaffa Gate, all media, All people made pictures of Santa Claus in Jerusalem, in the Holy Land, riding a camel. And that's the story how it started as more to be famous around the world. And then in 2016, I was invited to be in a Santa school for uh, professional Santa Claus. I went 2017. I did my Santa school. And uh, the Santa school is the oldest Santa school in the world from 1937. And from this moment, I came back here and start to think, I want to open Santa House and uh, to make surprise for Jerusalem because when I was a kid, I never meet Santa Claus. And that's why I want to give this message of giving and love and peace from Jerusalem, the children and to the children of the world. By the way, in December, almost every day, I, I saw a lot of people outside who wanted to, to, uh, wanted to come here for a few minutes and they... I saw from five to eight, but I'm sure you got them <clears throat> later. How, how did you succeed to, to get everybody that wants to come? Well, I actually could try to control very well. I see how much the queue are. I try to make it a little bit faster. If I don't have much people, I try to have more time with family. But I have a lot of people. I try to give them two to three minutes maximum because I need to give the, the, the message of and the happiness for the family to everybody, not just people waiting and cannot go inside. I try my best to do. And of course, I give them chocolates, candy cane, and they make pictures. Yeah, and, parents, of... and yes, parents come here, they bring me gifts, I give them. And the successful is that never been a Santa house in the Holy Land. That's the first Santa Claus house and the official Santa Claus house in the world. It's in the Middle East to be as recognized from as a Santa family do work. Can you can you remind me who are the people that come here? It means more than okay. 
first I welcome everybody. They come all around. They come Christian, they come Muslims, they come Jewish. I don't care where you are. What is your religion? For me, it's everybody is welcome to come to come to Santa South. And you know, in the Holy Land, we have we celebrate pre Christmas and different, and the, we have. 24 to the 25th of Catholic. Then we have the New Year, Snowden called them. Then we have the Orthodox and then the Armenian. That's why it's special and it's unique to have Santa House in Jerusalem in the heart of the world. But uh, what is your daily basis in your life? Well, I used to be a professional basketball player for 25 years and now I'm retired and I'm doing. Uh, coaching basketball coach in YMCA here. The, that's my daily that I'm going, I deal with the with basketball. On the time of November, December, I start, I stop all my things because I need more time to, to have for Christmas. And because in the morning time, I have schools come here. And some, I go to hospitals, especially special needed like cancer kids. I like to show them that they are not forgotten. We miss them, we are with them, we love them, and that's why that's made me happy and proud to do that. And in the evening, I wait all the families to come to meet Santa Claus. I'm very busy all the months of December. I love to be everywhere around the Holy Land, but it's not easy as much as I can. I did some activities. I've been in the Dead Sea. I've been in the Jordan River. I did Nazareth. I did all around the Holy Land, but it's not easy just to do, uh, to be as, Stand the house other cut other places around the other land because I'm very busy here and crowded and many people they love to come to meet Santa and to see the Santa house. And I saw your uh, balloon flying or your uh, uh, Dead Sea visit. It means it's really unique uh, things well, that your creators. Yes, because it was hard time two years ago because of COVID, and, uh, and I tried to make something different. People were stressed. And that's my message. Either the children, they don't know what's going on with this corona. They may, they are being stressed. And the message I gave always to bring them love and the peace in Jerusalem. Because children, they are like angels. They don't know what's going on. Like small kids, they come, they say, oh, what's going on? And they feel stressed. No, we need to give them the good message. And they grow with this good message for when they're older, they, they have the best message, message come from Jerusalem. In your family, how do people feel with the Santa Claus in their home? Well, in the beginning was a little bit strange and they say, oh, maybe that's a hard work for you. But also I did in, in the United States, I oath, I promise on the Bible that I made the oath that I need to give all the children the happiness and love. I promise to God, I want to give this to the children. They see, my family see it very hard for me because I work hard. I do a lot of hours, but when I feel this, I look at the smile of the children when they come to me. That's let me forget my tiredness, make me happy. I want to give more and more, and they love it and they support me. And especially my mom, uh, and my dad passed away, and uh, but he was a big support for me. Say, okay, Isa, if you feel that's a good way to do it, just continue your career to be Santa Claus and. Uh, it's now, I, I feel proud because many people tell me what you're doing to, to Jerusalem and to the Holy Land, it's something special. I was here with my family a few times with, with my daughter and, and, and I, I hear that few Russian sentences, you, you know, Slava Godal and other things. How, how do you know Russian sentences? What is the connection to the Russians? Well, when the Russians came here to me, uh, I try to, every time I have a new word, I try to remember it and give, give to the children. But always I give them also the wishes. Okay, Krasiva and Snod and God. That's the word I, I heard from the children. And that's how I give them back, like Dava, Idea, and you know, and give them hug and little by little and I learn as much and little by little I wish I would learn more Russian language that I can in the future deal with them more and I can speak with them more. But I try little by little because it's not easy to have many languages, especially here in Jerusalem with but I try my best to do it. What she hacks on also. The last question I want to ask uh, do you remember some special case that happened here in the Santa House. Of course, I have many, I have many cases happen. Many story happen. 
Uh, some of them are good, some of them are sad, some of them are okay. Uh, let me tell you with the, let's start with not good situation. Like one kid, one boy say to me, please, I want my father back. I don't promise him. I can't promise. I say, okay, let's pray and, and your father will be back. Okay. Second story, which is funny. And uh, one kid came to me and say, oh, please Santa, stop the war. We don't need war. I said, okay, I do my best. Let's pray again and we will do it. You know, he said, I want to go back to my country. I want to be back with my family. And I said, he's from Ukraine. Yes, he's from Ukraine. And I said, don't worry. We pray for it. And I wish this war will finish, that you they go back to live together and happiness and that you can see your family. And some, some things are like, uh, let's say, I have around 20, this year I have, when 2022, I have 25 kids stop doing in the night sucking the finger because I see Santa will see you in the night. And they start to say, if you we do this, he will not bring us the gift under the tree. <laughs> and then they stop it and they, the parents call me back, see, oh, thank you, Santa. Our kids stop to do this in the night. <laughs> that you're really influenced to the wise. Course, not only with these issues. Kids don't, don't eat, they don't study, they or they don't. They the parents like them to drink milk or to be healthy, and they don't do that. But now Santa telling him to do that when he come here and say, "Hey, tomorrow I want to know that you drink your milk in the morning," and he say, "Okay, Santa, I will do." And he start to do it, and now every day he drink his milk, he eat well, and his health become better. Uh, that connection between the Santas in the, all over the world, when it's I, it's different. It's different here. Uh, here in Europe, different religion. The other world, every country have his own religion, different la one language. Here, you deal with many people, different languages. And uh, I try my best. I do my best to give the happiness for everybody. As I told you, I don't care what's your religion. Everybody welcome to me. And all the Russian now, either the Russian come here or the Ukrainian come to me and Belarus. And they say, wow, we are so proud and so happy that we are here in Jerusalem and we have Santa House. You bring us the memory of Christmas back to our life. And I'm proud for that. And I wish everybody come to visit me here. And I try to give them the message of love and peace when they come here. I really wish uh, to everybody that comes to Jerusalem to come in in December. Yes. Almost it's all my pleasure. And I wish you always, for me as a Santa, uh, I'm now as ambassador for all the centers around the world to the Holy Land. I have 1,500 centers from different countries. I'm not going only to the United States. I do it in Europe too. I, I meet centers. We have a center congress in Denmark, Copenhagen in Denmark. I'm ambassador for all the centers. The message I always give them also from the centers that here is the real place in, in the Holy Land. This is the real place where it started to be Christmas also. And there's one thing I need to say. I would either for Santa, I wish the people from my heart, Merry Christmas and also snow them, call them to everybody. For me as a Santa, it's Christmas for me and snow them, call them all year. And that's why I tell everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I really appreciate it and thank you for your time. Thank you and all the best for you and good, uh, good for everybody to be here. Thank you. Thank you. It's placebo. Time for Christmas Let the atmosphere warm your heart We'll have so much fun here at Christmas Time for laughing time